Well, I was sent this script and my first reaction was um, a bit of fear because I thought, uh, how could I possibly play Niki Lauda? It's a guy who's so different to me and he's still very present in Germany because we see him every weekend um, as he commands the Formula One. Um, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we still see him around. So it, and I thought, whoa, that's, that's, that's a tough part, you know. Um, so the good thing is that I went to the audition with, with, uh, with that feeling, you know, that I won't get it anyways because I'm too different than Nikki. Um, but um, I always had a passion for cars. Um, I, loved, I, loved, I loved the script, I loved the part, of course. So, um, um, so, so yeah, I was eager to, to, to get the part, but I really didn't expect it. So, yeah, it was quite a surprise that Ron decided then so quickly after a couple of days normally it's a torture you have to wait for two weeks or three weeks and you don't hear anything you start calling your agency making pressure still nothing and then in this case it was after a couple of days that my English agent called me and said that Ron um, uh, offered me the part one crucial thing is um, was to to meet Nikki um, that was something that I wanted to do um, and of course, with the um, also with mixed feelings, because it's strange to play somebody who's famous and who is alive. <laughs> so um, and knowing that Nikki is very frank and very honest, I thought like mm, hopefully he's gonna he's gonna like me, and hopefully we get along with each other well. So um, he called me one day and invited me to come over to Vienna. Uh, but then he said, yeah, just bring, just bring hand luggage. In case we don't like each other, you can fly back uh, to Berlin. I thought like, whoa, that's a, <laughs> that's a good start. So I, um, yeah, I met him in Vienna. Uh, fortunately, we liked each other. I could ask him whatever I wanted. And that was, uh, that was amazing um, that he was so open and so generous with his time because he's still a businessman who uh, has no time to lose, but he took a lot of his time for me. And then we met a couple of other times and he even took me to Brazil in his own Learjet, flying. And, um, and that was also um, a wonderful experience because I could see the, um, the Grand Prix uh, in Sao Paulo, um, meeting uh, all the drivers, uh, meeting former drivers, watching the race in the Mercedes pit. And that was also, you know, uh, very important to get a feeling for the whole race, racing world. The focus is really on that dramatic season in uh, in '76 um, uh, with the uh, with the crash with with Nicky's crash um, and and yes on the rivalry between him and, and James Hunt. How he could uh, have his comeback after four weeks after that terrible accident, uh, heavily injured, to go back. Uh, step into the car and be fourth in, in Monza, the first race. It's a very heroic moment in the, f in the film. Uh, I loved shooting the scene because I was carried on shoulders and I, was, I felt like a king. Uh, um, and that's a very emotional moment in the, in the movie, of course. We are very different as actors. We come from completely different uh, directions. I have the highest respect for the work that he does because it's so physical. He plays all these superheroes. Um, that's 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 tough, and it's a lot of work. Um, and I come from from another direction, and uh, and so um, to me, um, that rivalry was always totally believable. Um, but also um, that journey that ends with them being yeah almost friends. Um, um, and that worked, worked out perfectly with, with, with Chris. We shared a good sense of humor, laughed a lot, uh, teased each other uh, permanently, and it's had, um, had a very good feeling.